Day seven began with a flat tire and high winds. Despite our late start, it didn't take long and we were once again sifting through kudu bowls in search of the one. Our search for kudu quickly turned into a Gemsbuck hunt when this big solitary bowl was located. Jacqueline was up as a big Gemsbuck bowl was at the top of her list. We put together a game plan and began our stock. Unfortunately, the wind swirled as we closed the distance and the bowl blew out down the canyon. We were extremely fortunate, however, to bump into the bull several hours later, and Jacqueline quickly got set up on the sticks with the bull just under 250 yards away. Shot a gems bug. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my Our luck continued as we located a group of red harder beasts with a big mature bull with a broken horn on one side. As we got set up, the herd busted out of the bottom up onto the opposite hillside and presented me with a shot. There we go. Well, that'll work. Awesome shot. The morning hunt wasn't over just yet. Shortly after getting the heart of beast out, we located a bachelor group of Impala rams with one exceptional ram in the group. We made our way into range and got set up with the group of rams just 200 yards below us. Here 
you got? After a quick late lunch, we headed back out. We weren't two minutes out of camp when we located the one, a huge Cape Kudu bull that I had dreamed of having the chance to hunt for many years. As the bull fed unaware of our presence, we slipped into 320 yards and got set up for the shot. Shot over him, reload. Still there. Still there. Back in down. Back in. He's there. Coming down. Coming down. I still don't know what happened, but I shot right over the bull's back. As the bull and his cows moved down the canyon, we quickly moved up another 10 yards and I was able to get another shot off as the bull walked through a small gap in the trees. Smoke him? Oh my gosh! As I sat in awe, reflecting upon the events that had just transpired, I had an overwhelming feeling of gratitude for the opportunity to harvest such a magnificent animal. It's safe to say that day seven will easily go down as one of the best days of hunting that I have ever been blessed to experience. <laughs>